You know, in the movement of the New Apostolic Reformation, there's a lot of talk of grabbing somebody's mantle, um, having special anointing powers that people once walked in. I mean, take Catherine Kuhlman, for example. You hear a lot of people that have claimed her a mantle, that have claimed her anointing, that they want to walk in healings and miracles and signs and wonders and walk in the power of the Holy Spirit as Catherine Kuhlman did. And even people having prophecies over them that they're getting the mantle of Catherine Kuhlman. But what you won't hear is someone claiming the mantle of someone like Elizabeth Elliot, who suffered. Suffered. She lost her husband for the sake of the gospel. He was martyred. She went and ministered to the same people that killed her husband, and she lost her second husband to cancer. You won't hear someone want that type of mantle for suffering because people want what looks appealing. They want to have power and authority, and they want to be known for something great. But Scripture actually tells us over and over again that we are to be conformed to the image of Christ, that we are to, what Paul said do, imitate Christ as he imitated Christ. We are to follow after God, that we are to be conformed to the image, and that comes in suffering. It comes in having fruit of the Spirit cultivated in our lives, of bearing fruit in keeping with repentance. So all this mantle grabbing and grave soaking is paganism. What you need to be doing is having your life conformed to Christ, biblical Christianity. That's all you need.